Okay, let's look at this question. We've got the square root of 20x plus 20, and we're trying to add it to the square root of 5x plus 5. Now, you cannot add these two because they're not like. So what you have to do is you have to try to, to uh, simplify one, and then maybe they'll start looking alike. Okay, let's look here, okay? What I want you to notice here, if I looked at this problem, I could break this up. This is a little tricky, but catch it. 20x and 20 have a perfect square in common, and that perfect square is 4. When I factor out a 4, I'm left with a 5x plus 5. Okay, you see what I did? 4 times 5x is 20x. 4 times 5 is 20. So basically, 4 is the perfect square that I took out from under the radical. It's going to come out because it's a perfect square, and 5x plus 5 is going to remain. This becomes 2. Okay, so we have 2 times the square root of 5x plus 5. Now, the next part of the problem I'm just going to bring down. I'm bringing down the square root of 5x plus 5. There's one of those, correct? So when I have two of these plus one of the same thing, I end up with three of those. So my answer to this problem is 3 times the square root of 5x plus 5, and we're done. So the whole key to that problem was right here. Knowing to start that part of the problem off by pulling out a 4, and the reason I took out a 4, I factored out a 4, was because 4 is a perfect square. Okay? All right. Now, this next problem. We're asked to multiply. Well, basically what I need to do to multiply this out is I need to distribute. Okay? The square root of 7 times 3 is 3 radical 7. A positive square root of 7 times a negative square root of 7. Positive times a negative is a negative. And when I have a square root, woohoo! The wind's catching it. Here we go. Let me catch my papers. When I have a square root of 7 times a square root of 7, that becomes the square root of 49. Okay? Now notice in the front, sometimes students say to me, how come that 3 didn't go under the radical? Well, this 3 was not under the radical to begin with, so it just stays in front. 3 root 7. But root 7 times root 7 becomes the square root of 49. Now, 3 root 7 in the, in the front, minus, and what is the square root of 49? It's 7. And we are done, okay? The reason that we don't go past this is because these two terms are not like. This has a radical in it, this doesn't, which means they're not like, so we can't simplify them anymore.